September 3rd. On this day, we keep the memory of the Holy Horror Martyr Anthemus, the Bishop of Nicomedia. Saint Anthemus was Bishop of Nicomedia in Bithynia, in Asia Minor. His church was set on fire in 288 at the command of the Emperor Maximian, and 20,000 Christians perished. We celebrate their memory on December 28th. Under the protection of God, Anthemus was among those who escaped the conflagration and took refuge in the surrounding mountains. He was captured not long after and brought before Maximian, who questioned him amidst all the frightful instruments of torture. St. Anthemus was unshakable in his confession of faith in Christ. He suffered many cruel torments. He was beaten with rods. He was made to walk in red hot bronze sandals and finally fixed to a wheel that broke his limbs while the executioners burned his body with flaming torches. Strengthened by divine grace, he remained steadfast and like gold refined in the fire, shone more brightly in the midst of torments. He prophesied to the Emperor Maximian the approaching end of the pagan empire and the triumph of Christianity. The sight of his patience and his confidence drove Maximian mad with rage. He rent his purple cloak and he ordered Anthemus to be beheaded. After the saint's death, the hair of his head, blessed by God, continued to grow miraculously. Blessed is our God, always known from above the ages and ages. Amen. Glory to you, O God, glory to you. Heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who are ever and filling all things, Treasure of lessons and giver of life, come and abide in us and cleanse us of every impurity, and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now, never, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, cleanse us from our sins. O Master, pardon our transgressions. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now, never, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Successor to the throne of the apostles, O oh, inspired of God, thou found this discipline to be a means of ascent to divine vision. Wherefore, having rightly divided the word of truth, thou didst also contest for the faith even unto blood, O oh, Hieromartyr Anthemus. Intercede with Christ our God, that our souls be saved. Let us chant unto the Lord who led his people through the Red Sea, for he alone has gloriously been glorified. 
Holy Hara Mater Anthem, us pray to God for us. Thou who did sacredly bloom like a lily in the meadow of the martyrs, thou sweeten with the fragrance of thy contest the souls of all the pious, who faithfully acclaim thee, O higher Archanthemus, much suffering martyr. Holy Hara Mater Anthem, us pray to God for us. Sinewing thy soul with continual meditations, thou didst cut the enemy's sinews in valiant wrestlings, and left him powerless. Wherefore, O blessed Anthemus, the whole Church recognizes and honors thee as an immovable martyr. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The accursed adversary was astonished, beholding thee standing courageously before the tribunal of wise Anthemus, and he thought to undo thy fortitude with flatteries, but he was vanquished, and the insolence of his folly suffered a fall. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The Lord, dawning forth from thee as he knows, O pure virgin, has illumined the choirs of athletes, who portrayed all his life giving sufferings and unjust death, which has justified us sinners. Thou art the confirmation of those who flee to thee, O Lord. Thou art the light of those who are in darkness, and my spirit hymns thee. O holy Haramater, Anthemus, pray to God for us. Like Christ, thou gazed thyself up to them that sought thee, and was led to the slaughter like a distinguished Remo Anthemus, sanctifying with thy blood all that honour thee. Holy Haramater, Anthemus, pray to God for After us. After thou hast destroyed every deception of the demons by divine grace, thou was led away as a bondsman, O martyr Anthemus, portraying him that was bound for thy sake, and by death destroyed death. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Seeing all the instruments of burning and torture before thine eyes, thou was not shaken in mind, but once ardently to torment so much contending on thee Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Thou became fairer than all the earth born, O maid most pure, when thou gavest birth to the Father's Son and Word, longing for whom the noble martyrs were made to shine with glory. Thy blood, like unto Abel's, now mystically crieth to God out of the earth, O divinely wise Father. For thou didst proclaim the increate Trinity openly, hence excelling as a shepherd thou drovest far up all the beasts of heresies, O Anthemus, proving a guardian of the faith. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let all us, the faithful, bless the Theotokos, our most fervent advocate, a certain help in every need, who reconciled us to God again, through her we all have been saved from corruption and death. I have heard the mystery of thy dispensation, O Lord. I have considered thy works and have glorified thy divinity. Holy Haramater Anthemus, pray to God for us. Thou who hast founded the heart upon the rock of faith, who hast stoned in imitation of Stephen, O Martyr, Wherefore we joyously crown thee with hymns of praise. Holy Haramata Anthemus, pray to God for the us. The divine zeal of God set thee aflame, and thou felt not the burning iron rods that pierced the Anthemus, you ornament of martyr. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Anointed with the holy unction of the priesthood, and adorned with hallowed martyrdom, Thou didst set out with joy for the Holy of Holies. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The Word, without leaving empty the bosom of the Father, reclined in thy bosom as a babe, O maiden, wishing to refashion me who lay fallen in corruption. Waking at dawn, we cry to thee, save us, O Lord, for thou art our God, and we know none other than thee. 
O holy harm, utter anthemus, pray to God for us. As thy feet are terribly burned, O earthly anthemus, thou dost crush the head of the fleshless enemy, and walks unto heaven adorned with sacred contours. Holy Martyr Anthemus, pray to God for us. The enemy, on being overcome, was beside himself with dismay, and God called thee with a living voice, inspiring thy heart with courage, O much contending higher up. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As a whole oblation, as a sacred sacrifice, as a victim, as divine offering, was thou brought rejoicing unto the King of all, you shepherd and martyr. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The shadows of the law made plain the brightness that arose from thee and illuminated the choirs of the athletes who sang thy praise, O all blameless maiden. Grant me a robe of light, O thou who covereth thyself with light as with a garment, O most merciful Christ our God. O holy Hiram Arter Anthemus, pray to God for us. Compassed with tribulation and bound to the wheel, and keenly burned with torches on every side, thou didst prove to be unbending, O much suffering, higher our Anthemus. Holy Hiram Arter Anthemus, pray to God for us. Thou sent up a hymn of praise to God when thou wast burned, and like the children thou didst receive dew from on high, O noble athlete, you companion of the holy angel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Heal my soul, which ails incurably for being manifested as a priest and invincible martyr. Thou hast authority to remit sins, O blessed one. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Since thou hast withered up the plants of wickedness through him that sprang from thee, O unworded virgin, Lock up the shoots of my passions and make my soul to burgeon with divine thoughts. Among God's priests thou wast distinguished for fervor, and in completing well thy course as a martyr, thou didst quench all the power of idolatry. For thou wast the champion of thy flock, hence it crieth, Unto thee now mystically, as it showeth the honor. Deliver us from perils by thy prayers, O godly-minded and glorious Anthemus. Fill me with divine knowledge, and chase the gloom of ignorance from my heart by thy prayers, that I may faithfully praise thy holy memorial, for on the choirs of angels divinely rejoice today with the martyrs. And men, as though plaiting flowers, worthily crown thy head with hymns of acclamation, asking to obtain from thee the pardon of failings and deliverance from the miseries of life, and to be rescued from visible and invisible enemies by thy prayers, O godly-minded and glorious Anthemus. O godly-minded and glorious Anthemus, once in Babylon, the youths who had come forth from Judea trod down the flame of the furnace with faith in the Trinity, singing, O God of our fathers, blessed art thou. O holy Hiram Arter Anthemus, pray to God for us. The flames brought nigh to the holy flesh did not hurt thee at all, but at the visitation of divine angels they turned back upon them that hated thee. Holy Hiram Arter Anthemus, pray to God for us. By the almighty strength of God, the will that was torturing thee suddenly stood still, and it was the companies of the unbelievers that rolled towards belief because of the wonder, a wise teacher of sacred mystery. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Being a keeper of Christ's commandments, O blessed Anthemus, thou wast kept in prison while kept safe by him, and through thine inspired teachings thou became the guardian unto them that guarded thee. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. In the excess of his love for man, O virgin, the word appeared in a body taken from thee, and he saved such a thing. O God of our fathers, blessed are thou. The King of heaven, whom all the hosts of angels hymns, praise and exalt ye supremely for all ages. 
O holy Haramatra Anthemus, pray to God for us. In the face of transgressive tyrants, thou speaks eloquently of the Lord's incarnation, even while suffering tortures and bitter punishments and pains. O much afflicted hierarch Anthemus, holy Haramatra Anthemus, pray to God for us. Tempered like steel in the fire of endless torments, O blessed one, thou didst cut innumerable ranks of demons asunder, Weaving trophies of victory and glorifying the Lord. We bless Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Lord. Since thou was willingly slain, O all blessed Anthemus, thou hast laid hold upon the ageless life, and the entrance into paradise and the divine tabernacles wherein as thou dances for joy. Remember them that honour thee. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. With sacred voices let us bless the undefiled tabernacle of God, the living ark, the glory of the martyrs, her that is higher than the cherubim and all creation. The birth-giving of the ever-virgin, which was shown beforehand to the lawgiver in the burning bush for the salvation of us, the faithful, let us magnify with unceasing hymns. O holy Haramatra Anthemus, pray to God for us. Thou didst mystically blossom forth in the house of our God like a sweet-smelling rose. Wherefore thou sheds thy sweetness upon us, being thyself the sweet savour of the Lord, and thou drives away the foul-smelling passions from our souls, O blessed Anthemus. Holy Haramatra Anthemus, pray to God for Today, us. Today, the noble city of the Nicomedians, which is a right glorious among all cities, calls together the whole city to keep thy memorial. Thou art become her defender. Her do thou turn from heaven, O martyr. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The earth received thy spilt blood, O hierarch, and thy spirit was brought into the heavens to rejoice with the divine spirits. With them do thou remember us, O Anthemus, you summit of divine martyrs. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The fiery sword which formerly barred the entry into paradise now gives way to the that portrayed the worshipful passion of Christ, who was willingly pierced with a spear, and that also honour thee, O Virgin, who are exceedingly honourable. Strike up today an annual choir with gladness, all ye of the great city of Nicomedia. Now on your good shepherd's memory leap for joy, having him as your sure defence, keeping you safe and beyond reach of all your enemies' malice. Wisdom, most holy mother of God, save us. More honourable than the cherubim and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, Thee who without corruption gave us birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, thee do we magnify. Glory to you, Christ God, O hope, glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Holy Father, bless. May Christ, O true God, with the prayers of his holy and all pure mother, with the prayers of St. John the Baptist, of the holy and all praised apostles, with the power and under the protection of the holy life-giving cross and all the holy bodiless powers of heaven, with the prayers of our fathers among the saints, Ninian and Cuthbert, the bishops of God, Sisoes the Great, Brandon the Navigator, Oran of Iona, Columba of Iona, Kenneth, Ronan, Molwag, all the saints of all these islands, our protectors and our benefactors. With the prayers of the Holy Haramad, Anthemus, the Bishop of Nicomedia, with the prayers of our righteous father Theoctistus, fellow ascetic of Saint Ephemius the Great, with the prayers of Saint Zeno, who being cast into a cauldron of molten lead was perfected in martyrdom, with the prayers of Saint Basilisa of Nicomedia, who fought with wild beasts, suffering no harm therefrom, and reposed in peace. With the prayers of Saint Aristion, the Bishop of Alexandria, who was perfected in martyrdom by fire. With the prayers of Saint Hariton, cast into a pit of quicklime, was thus perfected in martyrdom. With the prayers of Saint Arhontion, who was perfected in martyrdom by hunger. 
with the prayers of the saint among kings Constantine the New, who reposed in 641 and was laid to rest at the Church of the Holy Apostles, with the prayers of the holy new martyr Polydorus, who was perfected in martyrdom by hanging in New Ephesus in 1794, with the prayers of St. Phoebe the deaconess, with the prayers of St. Ramaclus, the bishop of Maastricht, with the prayers of St. Ioannikios, the first patriarch of Serbia, with the prayers of the blessed John, the wonder worker of Rostov, the fool for Christ's sake, with the prayers of the holy new martyr John of Volsha Burlinske, who was slain by the atheists in 1919, with the prayers of the holy new Harum martyr Nicodemus, the bishop of Belgorod, who was slain by the atheists in 1921, with the prayers of St. Magnus of Kona, St. Balin, St. Cuthberga and St. Quenburga of Wimborne, with the prayers of St. Harris Witha and St. Edward of England, and all those with them whose memory we keep this day. With the prayers of the holy ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us. He is good and he loves mankind. Amen. In the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen.